Hey there, everybody. Good morning. It's time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today, I'm going to explain to you why both Alabama and Auburn are playing cupcake games this week and why you should, too. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Well, good morning, everyone. And for those observant ones of you that might notice I'm wearing a shirt very similar to the one that I wore yesterday, that's because for me, it is still yesterday and this is pre-recorded. So, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, it's a getaway day. Yesterday was getaway day for me. We are in Houston this morning. And uh, the setup here is just a little bit much to get everything ready to rock this morning. But I'll be back Monday morning doing live shows, so be sure and tune in for that. If you happen to be listening somewhere other than uh, on Facebook, you can still come over and leave comments and ask questions. I do check those out. And everybody else who's watching the show would love to hear from you, too. Just head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. That'll get you to the right place. And you can join in with everyone else. Now, um, this is the weekend before Iron Bowl weekend. For those of you that are not from around Alabama, you're not from around here, you don't understand Iron Bowl. Alabama and Auburn, you know, play football every year and it's kind of a big deal. And so, interestingly, this week, the week before, both of them are playing what we usually call cupcake games. They're playing somebody who's really not going to present much of a problem for them. But, um, and in years past, they've even taken the week off, gotten, you know, took their bye week before they played each other. But here's the thing, before we get too critical of them, here's the thing I want you to think about. Rather than taking the week off, which they have done, they're playing a game. And in playing a a game, they get to exercise their skills, both teams. And uh, in exercising their skills, they're, you know, keeping the rust knocked off. They're, I mean, it's a, it's a legit um, opportunity to improve. Now, they want, they need, there, there are league reasons why they play games outside the conference, but there's really a scheduling reason why they play a, an easier opponent leading into this big rivalry game that's coming up in a couple of weeks, right? It's so that they can tune up. Now, what I want you to think about and how this applies to you, the takeaway I want you to have from this today is sometimes you have something big coming up and you can get so fixated on the big thing that's coming up that you miss the little day-to-day stuff, right? Now, we've talked a lot in the past about the value of winning and how it releases dopamine and what dopamine does to our brain and and all those things. And all of those things are going to happen for both of these teams this weekend. So when you have something big coming up, I mean, next week is Black Friday week, right? If you're in business, great, great week to close out the year, right? That might be a really big deal for you. And you might be so fixated on that that it's hard to focus on the little things you need to do in order to get there, all right? So we don't want to do that. So take a day. And, and this also can happen, look, it, it sometimes we can look at projects that are just Oh, that's so huge. I, there's so much I have to do. I just have to plow through it. But there's a point of diminishing return, right? We, we know this in, in lots of different venues that more effort does not necessarily produce more result. And, and just because you can drive yourself toward a result doesn't mean that driving yourself harder is going to get you there faster. In fact, the, the law of diminishing return says that at some point, it's detrimental. 
right? You need to pull back a little bit, cool the jets, arrest the system, and then attack it again tomorrow. You know, in a very, in a very macro metaphysical way, maybe that's why we have to sleep every day. If you think about, you know, you kind of study and understand the things that go on in your body when you sleep, it kind of makes sense, right? All that stuff kind of, um, you know, our brain, the, the, the active part of our brain shuts down and all of the levels and stuff in our body are, are supposed to reset while we sleep, right? So if we're forcing ourselves toward this deadline, forcing ourselves toward an outcome, and we don't afford ourselves the opportunity to, to rest, then those things don't get reset. And then, then this law of diminishing returns kicks in over, over multiple days. And then it gets really bad. And then we get stressed out about not making enough progress. So we work even harder, you know? So whether it's literal or figurative, take a cupcake day sometimes when you need to. If you are feeling yourself stressed that you're not making the progress you need to make, that, that, this is a really big thing and, and man, this is just killing me. Take a cupcake day. Maybe you should really go get a cupcake. I don't know. That would be bad for me, but t- take a day where you're not driving yourself and you can do some of the little things that have been accumulating, right? So you're, you know, you're using your P4F list, right? You're only focusing on five things a day, but the rest of your list has grown really huge. Take a day where you can go through there and knock out a bunch of little things. Get all of those little shots of dopamine. Feel good about the progress that you've made today and then attack the big problem anew tomorrow. All right. So that's just, uh, that's just a thought for you. I know that that happens to a lot of us. Sometimes we see something really big. We avoid it because to be honest, we we don't want to do it. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, we wind up not making the kind of results that we could if we just took a minute to stop, pause, and focus. It really plays into the message from yesterday. If you didn't listen to yesterday's show, go back and listen to that. We talked about a finite versus an infinite game. Be sure which game you're playing and make the best decisions based on that. All right, that's it. Whether you're an Alabama Auburn fan or somebody else, hope your team performs well this weekend. I will be back with uh, uh, all, uh, you know, as long as everything lines up, I'm planning to do live shows next week, uh, most of the week. Uh, uh, we'll see how it turns out. It's holiday week, but we'll see how it turns out. I'll be here for you. You guys have a fantastic weekend. I'll talk to you again on Monday. Take care. <laughs>